Now, next I want to uh, use the uh, uh, issue rather of honesty uh, to go back to this issue of egoism, predation, or content, uh, or altruism. Uh, if we have a set of values or a set of virtues that we think are good, uh, admirable, right, or important, there's, my, uh, there's a question of for whom these are and should be valuable or important. Or if we think that certain principles are good because of the results they're going to lead to, the question is who the beneficiary of those results should be. So for example, I might say that honesty uh, is a policy that I'm going to practice. Suppose I am in business. Uh, I want to make a profit, and so as a result of that, I want to uh, have customers who are with me long term. And so I, then I say honesty is going to be my best policy as a businessman because uh, that is going to lead uh, my customers to have a certain loyalty to me because they know that I will be a square dealer. And then on the basis of that, they will continue to trade with me and I will continue to uh, profit and flourish in my, in my business. So there I am making a judgment that honesty is good because it's in my long-term self-interest in order to be honest. If I, by contrast, am an advocate of a more predatory ethic, an ethic that argues that I advance in the world at the expense of you, or you, by contrast, will advance in the world at the expense of me, uh, my question of whether I'm honest or not is going to be more tactical. I'm going to make the judgment if I think I can get ahead, uh, that if I can make a, a, an, an advance right, of some sort or gain uh, at the expense of you by being dishonest, then I will go ahead and be dishonest because uh, that's my benefit is, uh, is, is your loss in that particular case. And so honesty is not going to be a good thing for me to do in that case. Instead, dishonesty is the right sort of thing uh, for me to do. So what I'm then doing is evaluating the honesty issue in terms of a predatory approach that uh, sees the world in a zero-sum sort of terms. Or we might, uh, if we are altruistic, uh, altruists uh, uh, argue that ethics is a matter of primarily judging uh, actions, rightness or wrongness, goodness or badness, in terms of the effects on other people, uh, not so much upon yourself or even at the sacrifice of one's own interests. And so I might say, for example, I have an obligation in a certain situation to lie because if I tell a lie, say a white lie, it will protect my friend's feelings. Uh, and so even though I may not like the idea of having to tell a lie to my friends, uh, for the sake of my friend, I'm going to tell a, a, a white lie to, uh, to insulate them from, from certain uh, damages. So uh, do I tell a truth or tell a lie based on my long-term self-interest uh, that I think is going to be win-win with respect to you? Am I willing to lie if I think, uh, uh, lie to you and, and, and to harm you uh, resultingly if I think that will benefit me? Or do I judge the rightness or wrongness of lying uh, in terms of its effect on other people? What is my primary standard? Who is the, uh, the beneficiary of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the action on, uh, in this case? All right, next I want to uh, make a judgment here about some epistemological issues in ethics, jumping down here to uh, number six. Questions of number six are very closely to, related to questions number five. How do we answer questions of ethics? All of these uh, rationales and justifications uh, uh, that we've just gone through in, in talking about these first four sets of issues here. Uh, in each case, I'm, uh, uh, the, when I was working them through, I was using reason. I said, are these consequences or not? Or we take this principle and we apply it in this particular way. Is that right? the right way for individuals to think about ethical issues in their lives? That we uh, should make a rational judgment right about the situation and that we can make rational judgments about value issues. Or is it the case that when it comes to value issues, ethics issues, and so not, reason is not a fundamental uh, trait. We do not fundamentally get ethics off the ground by appeals to reason uh, or rationality. Rather, in, say, religious traditions, uh, ethics is a matter of faith. One accepts on faith a body of traditions from a religious source. Or in social uh, uh, versions of ethics, that the way we acquire our ethics is through social training, uh, that we're born into a certain culture that has pre-existingly various ethical traditions and the new person uh, who's born into it accepts those ethical uh, principles and mores um, 
uh, usually without question, or by the time they, uh, they do come to question, they already are op operating within that system. Or might we say that really ethics and value issues are matters of emotions or various sorts of feelings, and we find out what's good or bad for us by reference to what the strongest passions that we have or what goals or, or, or ambitions resonate right, with us most strongly in some internalistic uh, method. And on the basis of that, we decide what the right thing is to do in any situation or in the long term, what goals we're going to commit ourselves to. Now, I've got six questions on the board here. We've gone through them uh, very quickly. Uh, by way of summarizing, um, uh, maybe uh, add a tag that will be a useful uh, summarizing tag here. Question one, uh, think of in terms of the following interrogative. What we're asking in this question case is uh, an answer to the question of what is in fact good, right? What are the values that I should embody in my life? What character virtues uh, should I embody and, and, and train in my own self? We're answering hearing here a, a what question. Question number two, the question of egoism, predation, or altruism. Here we're asking for an answer to a different interrogative. This is a question of who. Who should be the beneficiary of, uh, of, uh, of, the, of the values right, that are in question here? Should it be uh, that I uh, achieve uh, my, my own values? I should be the ultimate beneficiary in my life. Should I be the beneficiary at your extent, expense, rather, or should uh, you be the beneficiary, perhaps, at, uh, at my expense? But who is the, uh, the question here? Number three, the issue of universality and relativity of values. Here, the interrogative is the question of when. Right? Right. When or under what circumstances? Is it the case that at all times, the ethical principles, the ethical values hold no matter what the circumstance? Uh, or is it the case that different ethical principles and different ethical values come into play under different circumstances and at, at different times? So the, here we're asking the question of when. When we're raising questions of teleology or deontology, we're asking the question about the proper moral motivation. And so here the interrogative is the, uh, the question of why. Why should I do a certain thing? Is it because it will yield various results or consequences that I judge to be good? Or should I do it because it's the right thing to do? I have a duty or an obligation to do. Uh, and the reason why I am doing it uh, is for that. Uh, kind of a commitment. Jumping down to number six here, this is the question, an epistemological question about ethical uh, issues. How do we validate them? How do we come to know them? How do we decide what is right here? So the interrogative is right, the how question. And number five, which uh, is kind of a metaphysics of ethics question uh, uh, that we can bring in at this point here. Where ultimately do we go looking for the answer right, to the question of where ethical values are to be found? Is it the case that ethics and morality is primarily a naturalistic enterprise? It's for us to achieve the good or to live the right kind of life in this world. So that is to say, naturalistically, I want to achieve happiness in my life or we want to have a certain kind of society uh, that is flourishing. Uh, both of which are naturalistic uh, uh, bases for ethics, or is it the case that ethics is supernaturalistic in its origin, that uh, it's a matter of God having decided what's right and what's wrong, and God communicates that to us from God's uh, place in the universe, and then we simply accept those uh, principles and apply them as best we can in this particular world. But that their primary source and ultimate uh, scope and application is to be found not in the natural world, but rather in, in uh, the supernatural supernatural world. And that is the question of where. Right? Where do we find the ultimate source and justification for uh, ethical values and principles? All right, six questions. Uh, for the rest of this unit, since we can't talk about all of these, this would be a semester's course at least in its own right, I'm going to focus primarily on this question here the question of egoism, predation, or altruism. We will make glancing reference to some of the other uh, questions uh, in, in, uh, in sorting through this set of issues uh, as everything is interconnected here. But the heart and soul of our discussion henceforth will be on the question number two.